Hey everyone, welcome to Automobile Tycoon. So this is going to be a bit of a different style video than what I normally do. Uh, it's going to be interesting though, I'm going to try and play this game, and I'm going to try to do well-ish. What I'm thinking I'll probably attempt to do is make a car manufacturer that only makes vans. I don't know why, but I'm making it a challenge for myself. Let's go ahead and try the new game here. I have played this game a little bit. I've played it for about an hour, so I think I know the basics. I would not say that I know what I'm doing though, like at all. So we're gonna have to figure out as we go here. The thing is though, one thing I have learned is starting in 1905 is difficult. They don't sell many cars and production costs are high, so it's not easy to make good money doing that. So what we're going to be doing is starting in 1980, we'll just go on normal difficulty, not going to go for anything crazy, and uh, we got to pick a color and a name here. All right, so here's what we've got. Our company name is Van Landian. Uh, our company color is a nice light blue and symbol. I have no idea what that is. It kind of looks like maybe a butterfly, so I'm going with that. And here is the only thing we need, just vans. Alright, so the basics of the game, we have different rooms. This is our main office, I guess, where you can call on the phone. Don't really need to do that unless you're trying to ask for money. Uh, but most important thing here would be this. We've got uh, different areas where we can open up offices. And then when you want to move rooms, you can either click the doors or you can like click these windows down here. So I flipped through the rooms pretty quickly, but there's the map. This is that office with help and different things here. These reports are really important. We'll get to those in a bit. And then we have production. So we have our technologies. These are the ones we have or are researching. And then also we have, uh, we can develop different chassis and engines and such. And also uh, we have a budget thing here, which is for the research. Over to the factory, we have assembly lines. So we can have different assembly lines uh, with workers. Uh, they have levels as well. We don't have enough money to upgrade either of them. But we have storage here that's pretty important, and you can see that 300 units are being made per quarter. So quarters are turns in this game, and you end turns by clicking on this little clock down here. It took me a while to figure that out, because there's no tutorial about that at all. Uh, but anyways, so we're starting off with a truck. It makes 300 units per quarter. We can actually move that on up to 400. But we're going to need to set some things up first. We're actually currently in the green uh, with a truck. But again, we're going to have to start making our vans and hopefully only vans. I have practiced this once and believe it or not, it does kind of work. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're starting off in North America, which hopefully will be easier for us. We're only currently 1% of the market, uh, but we're going to open up a couple more offices. This is going to cost us money, but it's okay. Because as you'll soon see, people like vans and we will hopefully be swimming in money. Now, we've got to make sure that we've got everything sort of ticked off here before we end our turn. Uh, one thing we want to do, though, is we want to go to uh, our cars and we just want to see how much it's selling for. $10,000 for this thing, and it's only costing us $6,000 to produce with manufacturing difficulty uh, pretty high, so we might need to raise that up. To raise that up, we need to go over here. We've got to replace our machines, but I'm just going to go for the maximum upgrade. That is a little bit risky, but <laughs> we'll leave it there. And let's go, let's see how much we're gonna be able to do here. So unfortunately it's gonna cost us 2.6 million this uh, quarter to run the factory, but are we gonna make money? Oh, yeah, actually we did make money, thank goodness. And you can see here we sold out of trucks. That's exactly what I wanna see. All right, now we can adjust our product lines. So we don't really have enough money to make a new vehicle, you'll see in a second. I guess what we can do though, uh, we'll just use the truck chassis and the truck engine and we'll put that into a van. All right, so here's where you create different things. We need to come up with a name for our van and to make things a little bit easier, I'm gonna make them all numerical with a name as well. All right, so the first van that we're gonna make is called the Cargo V1. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is, so we get points based on development time and budget. Uh, but I'm just gonna leave everything here pretty much the same. I'm gonna put all of this into cost so we can make it cheaper And hopefully that'll help us out because we're already five stars and everything. So why not? Let's go ahead and do it It's gonna take a year to do so it's gonna be a while before we can actually sell these things All right as our van is underway. We can't do anything with it yet We can start pumping out more trucks though if we had more workers at the very least So what I think I'm going to do is hire two more workers at great expense and then we will uh, hopefully be able to put them in there when they come in next turn. Boom. Oh yeah, we're making money now. Here we go. We're selling out of trucks. This is exactly what I want. All right, I'm going to adjust our marketing a little bit. We're marketing very highly in North America, but we're also going to market 
Uh, actually, we'll market trucks first, and then once we get those vans going, we'll market vans and get rid of trucks. Uh, but this is going to be our zone of influence here. Only North America so far. Oh, and I probably should get rid of luxury. We're not really needing to invest in that at all. Do we really need any more technology? Uh, we'll see, but that's 500,000 a quarter, so it's not cheap. Oh, there we go. We're making more money. We've got 70 cars in storage, which is not terrible. Our skill is minus three, I guess. So we'll just put more people into this assembly line and uh, we'll probably end up with a bunch of extra cars at the end of this. Oh, okay, we just lost a bunch of money there, but we do have a lot of cars left over to sell, which is a good thing, we can use that to our advantage. So we can just get rid of this, and you can see our cost went down a lot, and unfortunately that's the only one we can still sell. Uh, so what I'm going to do is also lower this down, because we've got enough cars in storage, we don't really need to do anything. There we go, we sold out of cars once again. Okay, I think it's about time that we had a brand new van on the lot. It's the Van Landian Cargo V1. Alright, let's put some funds into this. This is currently a level 1, but we'll make it a level 2. And we'll put a couple into here as well so we can actually make some money. Alright, Van Landian, let's go. Oh wow, okay, so we did sell out of cars there again, which is good. Which means we need to, again, boost up production. Maybe we'll add another assembly line here. Alright, we sold out once again. Again, losing money, but that's not that big a deal. I did get five more workers, so we're gonna do this. Up that production line to uh, level two. Let's go ahead and continue on. Hey, we're making money again. 288 vans left. Trucks seem to be selling really well, which is nice, but uh, the vans not so much. Unfortunately, you do have to micromanage these workers, so I'm gonna have to bring these down which I'll just leave this one going, which will hopefully help out with our expenses. So I just noticed that we were paying our workers average, which was giving a, a 50 bonus to worker skill, uh, which grants production output increase. But if we put them up to above average, then it's double. Costs us a little bit more, actually quite a bit more, but I'm gonna do it just to help out with this. We wanna make as many of these as we can. And I'm thinking as well, we should probably start breaking out into Europe. So I'm gonna put a sales office in Europe. Uh, you know what, let's put a sales office in every single country, why not? Alright, we have a sales office everywhere, which means we need to go to our cars, and we can start to sell them in every country imaginable. Alright, we can get a bit more detail of what's going on as well. We sold 610 units of these in the last quarter. The van is selling well. Now my intention is to bring this thing as far as it will go. Let's see how far we can bring this van into the future. Alright, let's see what happens here, and ooh! Making money, goodness, we have sold out of cars once again. Alright, I probably should have put more into this. Let's try one more time here. Oh yeah, now we're really racking it up. Okay, I don't really want to, like, innovate very much. I know that sounds wrong, <laughs> but let's make maybe a different engine. We'll make a smaller engine, possibly, uh, for our vans. Alright, so you'll notice that our van chassis, currently 1980s, can only take A to C engines, so if I'm going to design a new engine, I've got to be careful to leave it in the C category. Uh, so if I make it a V6, or a 6 cylinder, it doesn't really give any specs on that, uh, then it will be above that category, so it's not going to fit in that drivetrain. So let's make a V8, but we're also going to need to make a chassis to match that. Alright, we'll try to be cutting edge with this technology, it's going to be really expensive, but it'll give us uh, hopefully the longevity that we need to bring an 80s van into the 2000s. All right, we'll put a little bit into reliability and then we'll put a little bit more into costs so we bring that cost down. Here we go, let's name this thing. I think you might be able to see what I'm going for here. All right, so that engine is currently under the gun here. It's being designed. Uh, let's go ahead and design a chassis that can take that engine size. So we need to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, actually, a little bit bigger than that. Alright, so we've gone with a very big chassis with engine space plus one, so that means we get uh, the ability to put in that engine. Uh, and I'm also going to attempt to fix the reliability because that was only two stars. We've got to have five star everything here. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and leave it the way it is other than bringing down the cost. Once again, we want to make this chassis as cheap as possible. And as always, we're going to be making a new van for this as well. Uh, this is going to be our heavier duty van, so we'll pick this engine and we'll pick this chassis and they should work together fine. And the interior is going to be very basic, with basic aerodynamics, we don't need that at all. And we'll just put a little extra into aesthetics, you know. 
Oh yeah, and the big part of this, we need to keep those costs down, so down goes the costs and in goes the name. Heavy Cargo V1 is live. Alright, that van should be ready in four turns, then we should be ready to go with something else. And as we're still making money off this current lineup, we don't really want to do much else. Let's just keep rolling in that cash. We're selling out of cars without any trouble at all. Alright, as we've got 18 million, I think we should probably upgrade some of these, just so we can... I don't know, make more cars. Okay, we're producing too many vans. We've got 503 in storage. Uh, we don't need those anymore. So I'm just gonna bring this one all the way down so we should be good there. And let's go one more time and I think it'll be time to open up a line for that new van. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're raking in the cash now. 22 million in the bank. All right, let's try and keep it that way. The heavy cargo van is incoming. Let's make a few of those. And I think what we need to do now as well go back to research or marketing that is get rid of this truck marketing who cares about trucks let's go very high marketing on those vans and why not I'm gonna spend a little bit extra on marketing and market to everyone in the world oh yeah we can also see other car companies that exist in the game and we can see what their cars look like as well uh, so in terms of vans we are actually the top selling van in the world Hopefully one day we'll reach top selling car, but my goodness, 5,474 units is going to be hard to match. I don't even know how you sell that many. Yeah, we only got 1,100, so we'd have to times that by 5 to get there. That's crazy. Alright, as we've got the heavy cargo here, let's go ahead and spend more money to upgrade our facilities. And we'll go ahead as well, hit the icon. Oh, hold on a minute. Did we just lose a bunch of money? Apparently those vans are not selling too well. Maybe I made a bit of a mistake here. Well, there's always something we can do. We can go over to the price of it. Lower that down. Maybe it's a bit too pricey. Just could chop a couple hundred off there. Maybe 16 grand will be reasonable. Hey, actually that did work. Okay, we have too many of them in storage now, but we are making money once again. All right, I'm just going to get rid of their assembly line entirely. It's not like we really need it anyway. And I'm going to upgrade these ones because... We uh, are pretty much selling out of these every single time, so we may as well spend our money there. Oh yeah, there we go again, making more and more cash. Those trucks are starting to get expensive, but here we are on our board of directors meeting. We need to pick a perk to last for the next decade. So, let's see. Training, this will increase our worker skill plus 20, so that means we're not going to have to buy an upgrade here, potentially. Uh, car development will half the development of new cars. That's pretty good, and an additional focus point is also good. Uh, dealership network. This is really good because I only have one dealership in most countries, so it seems like this one uh, will sell as if there are 10 sales offices even though we only have one. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but we'll go with that maybe. There's also production, expansion, and research. But I think I'm going to go dealership network. I think this makes the most sense. And interestingly enough, oh okay, so we're, we're doing pretty good still on sales. Uh, but interestingly enough, that means we can go over here. We have five offices. Let's just close a bunch of them because well, we don't need more than that if we're just going to have the effect of 10, right? So I decided to turn things up in North America to max. We're going to really market the heck out of this. And also mass market, I think that makes sense as well. We'll go average in there. Just uh, put a bit more money into marketing now that we have it because goodness, we're, we're really raking in the cash right now. All right, another quarter goes by, and we once again have sold out of vans. This is exactly what I want to see. So something I didn't notice before is you can actually see your individual sales in individual countries, or regions, I guess. Uh, so we sold 1,107 cars in Europe. Most of our car sales are in America, but Europe is also pretty significant. South America, 120. Asia, only 27 of, of them bought vans. That's unfortunate. Africa, 17. <laughs> and then Australia, 141. It's almost not even worth it to be in Africa and Asia, goodness. Well, I've officially made $100 million selling two vans and a truck. I think my company's doing pretty well so far. Uh, we don't even really need to change much here. Just lower down our production a little bit. So it's kind of gotten to the point now where I'm literally just printing money. It's 1990, I've got 254 million in the bank. I want to go for a billion, possibly more. Let's try for a trillion if we can. Uh, the assembly lines right now looking pretty good. No cars are currently um, in storage. We've sold everything. I don't want to go for more than 15 workers. I just feel that's kind of risky. But other than that, let's just keep selling. It's a 1981 vehicle here, 1980, still selling in 1990. It's just like real life. 
Okay, I'm gonna try and last for the next nine years without actually making a new chassis. Actually, on 1996, we'll start developing something new. But I've got this 277 million in the bank and I really don't want to spend it. <laughs> we could cut costs significantly, but things are going pretty well here. Alright, so the truck is starting to pile up here. We've got a couple of cars in storage, which means we don't need to do anything with that. But it's getting kind of old, so the game is probably going to start complaining that it's outdated. Let's see. Oh, not yet. Still selling for $10,000 though, goodness. So I'm basically making no cars at this point, we're, basi we're only making heavy cargo vans just because they keep selling. Uh, and I might start making these vans as well, or these trucks, or not a van, uh, we'll get rid of those soon. But anyways, I'm still making money just because I'm selling the cars that are in storage. Sometimes we don't need to produce. And then instantly those vans completely sold out, so we're going back into production, here we go. 1981 vehicle in 1992. Oh, and we cannot be outdone. This macaw here just can't compete with the 10 years older van selling 793 units in the last quarter even though I didn't make enough of them. And the other van is right down here. My aim is to just take over this list. We've got to take it all. Okay, it seems like heavily investing in van advertising is working out really well. Literally everybody wants a van for some reason. And especially these heavy ones are selling out so well. Alright, we've hit a new decade. It's time for another board of directors meeting. We need to pick a new perk. So we have research, 10% faster research. Training, again, workers get skill. Marketing, that's not bad. Expansion, okay, I, that, I guess that's kind of important because I don't have any offices at this point. Cost cutting, ooh, that's not bad. Administration, marketing, research, and worker wages all down. Or sales. Alright, I'm gonna go cost cutting, but expansion is very tempting, mostly because I'm gonna lose that perk that I had before, which means we're not gonna be selling as many cars as we were. Unfortunately, our expenses are about to go up because we've gotta put 10 of these in here. So it turns out you can't just sell the same van over and over and expect people to buy it. Although I am doing really well, there are still quite a few vans here in storage, the heavy cargo van specifically, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a fire sale. Let's discount this thing as much as we can. So we're a little bit behind the times in terms of technology, our company is just uh, lagging behind just a little bit. We're not too worried about things though. That's mostly just because I turned down the research budget. As always, it's time that we made something new. Okay, let's go with the same sort of size that we did before. We want to have a pretty powerful engine. This one, again, costing quite a bit, the Vortec. Let's make a more updated version of it. E-Class engine. Let's go. So obviously it's going to be a V8. Uh, we don't want to make the cylinders too big. We'll go for some of that cutting edge technology. Actually, let's go the best of the best with normal development time, this thing is going to be like some futuristic spaceship engine. Reliability, we'll put that up just so we're 5 stars and everything, and then we'll lower the cost of it because my goodness this thing is expensive. And as always we're going to make a new van, this one a different style. This one will hopefully sell as well, this is a bit of a heavier vehicle. Uh, we're going to make a light version too, but we'll wait until 2000 until we do that. Alright, new van incoming, we'll just have to wait and see how that one goes. Let's continue to make these old vans though, because why would we not? Yeah, it seems the heavy, heavy cargo van isn't selling too well. Oh, maybe not though, we're selling out of them slowly, and we're still selling these 80s cars in 95. There we go, Van the Man is ready to be sold. This is our newest van, a 1996. Uh, let's go ahead and make that a lot of production. I don't know if it's actually going to sell or not. Either way, we're going to be in, we're going to end up selling this thing for the next like 20 years, so we may as well make a lot of them. So, Van the Man is actually selling really well. The, the cargo van is selling out slowly of its stock and I think we'll uh, end that one's career but we're gonna keep this cargo van going as long as it will go because it just keeps selling out. The Nauta van though, it's kind of stale, nobody's really buying them. Alright so the pickup truck that we had, the Nauta van, is currently more than 15 years old, it's outdated. People are not interested in it so we're gonna put it on a fire sale, gonna lower the price as much as we can while we still break even or at least make some kind of profit and then we'll sell out the rest of our stock and then we will archive it and only sell vans. There we go, the Nauta van is done. Well, let's get rid of it. Say goodbye to our once beloved Nauta van. Well, everything else is doing well. You can see the current prices. Either you buy the 1981 version, $10,000, or the 1996, 
$25,000. And let's just double check that leaderboard. Oh, there we go. Van the Man, second place. Heavy cargo van down below, but still, we've got a lot of spaces on this list. The Van Landian Cargo V1 is still the top selling van all these years later. Let's keep it that way. Well, we don't make much money on it, but I have been routinely able to sell out of this van. Just constantly. We're not even selling the new van. We have a thousand of them in storage, but zero of this one, and we're pumping out almost 2400 a, a quarter. Which is crazy. Alright, I'm raising the price of the cargo van V1. People just want it so bad. I was thinking about making another light van, but why? Our old one is still selling. It's been 19 years. Oh, our first big loss. We lost $16 million somehow. Uh, oh wow, that's why. <laughs> the van is just not selling anymore. Maybe I raised the price a little bit too much. Alright, the time has come. Our old heavy van here, it must go. I think what we're going to do is lower the price. Oh wow, we're actually losing money on every single one of these, aren't we? Uh, that's not good. Let's retire this one completely. I know we had a few in stock, but... It's better that we just get rid of it. Let's continue on with our current lineup of only two cars and $516 million in the bank. So I'm going to sell these vans for $4 more than it costs us to make them in the hope that they continue to sell and then we'll try to sell them at a loss just so we can keep selling these vans forever. Alright, it's probably about time that we came up with a new light duty engine and also drivetrain. Our current setups are a little on the old side. Just like I did before, we're going to go ahead and put this to the best of the best. Uh, we'll give it a uh, longer development time, uh, that doesn't really make sense. And of course we need to design another van as well. Let's go ahead and pick out our new components, the V3 and the chassis as well. And uh, let's put all the money into cost savings. We want to make these as cheap as we can. So apparently nobody is buying the cargo vans that we have in stock, which is making me very sad, but we'll just continue to try and sell them I guess. I don't know, do they just stop buying them after they go dated? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I've got like 2,000 of these or something like that. Let's just make them like extremely cheap. Maybe five grand, brand new. Let's see if anybody buys them in any of these countries. Oh, this is so sad. It sold zero units. Oh no, what are we gonna do with all this storage? What if I make them free? What about a dollar? I don't know. Uh, we have lost our top spot though. We need this new van as a comeback. Apparently 1980s vans are horribly outdated and will not sell in 2002. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, apparently I made 11 million dollars there just by selling a few hundred extra vans that I had in stock, so uh, maybe things are turning around here. We're going for that billion. Okay, you know what I just realized? We have way too many workers. Let's get rid of a bunch of them. Uh, we only really need 10. We're not gonna have that many vehicles anymore, so that'll hopefully save us some money. Alright, here we go. The new but still the same van is ready to be sold. Let's go ahead and increase the units of these ones. We may as well make as many as we can. Oh wow, okay, that's selling really well. Yikes, okay, it was a really good idea to make another van, because goodness, this thing is selling much better than I thought. We still only have 10 sales offices in North America. I think we should probably spend the money and make that 20. <laughs> that might help us a little bit. So we're still researching tech from 1990, even though it's 14 years later. Uh, needless to say, vans don't need to be up to date. I really wish I could get rid of one of these lines. I don't know, like, you can cancel production, but it doesn't go away. Okay, I've decided I'm gonna make the horribly outdated vehicle literally $10 and see if anybody will buy it. We've still got 2,000 left. You come into the dealer with a $10 bill, we'll give you one. Here's the keys. All right, time for another board of directors meeting. This is probably important. A strike has never happened to me, so I don't know, like, it doesn't seem to be worth it. Uh, this is pretty decent. Non-home regions, that would be good, but we don't really have that many uh, places there. Production again, distribution, plus five sales offices in each region. This is exactly what we need. Let's sell more vans. Okay, apparently nobody wants to buy these vans even though they are $10. I am just refusing to put them out of production. Oh goodness, we're getting really close to a billion dollars right now. 931 million. We only have 11 years left in the game, so somehow we need to make 70 million in 11 years. Let's do this. Can I get away with not making a new van model since 2003 and still stay at the top of the leaderboards? 
I hope so. Oh yeah, there we go, 908 units. Oh yeah, vans are still the top. One billion dollars. There we go, 2011 was the year. Apparently the van the man, despite being older, is actually outselling the new but still the same van. Don't know how that's possible. So what I've learned today is you can basically just sell cars until they're horribly outdated. That's the only way that you can actually like lose anything on this. They still seem to buy cars despite them being pretty far out. These are 2003 vehicles in 2012 and people are still buying them. Unfortunately, Van the Man has become outdated and people don't want to pay this price for it anymore. We're going to lower that down to just above cost and hope we can sell the rest because my goodness, it didn't work out last time, now did it? Well, we're not making cars anymore. This quarter we just don't need to. I guess we could make one more van to cap off this entire development. Why don't we take our old technology, some like ancient stuff here, 2002 Vortec, we'll just slap that into a new body, or a new body. We'll call that the same thing and we'll just go with it. These people aren't going to know what hit them, let's give them that advanced interior, ooh. Well, if they're cheap enough then anybody will buy them, right? Four points into cost, let's go. Another four turns and we're going to have a new van. Okay, somehow we made a turnaround and ended up making a profit even though we're not making any cars. <laughs> People are buying all the vans I have in storage. Well, Van the Man has breathed its last. I managed to sell all the rest of them, so I'm gonna retire it. May it rest in peace. Oh, another strategy. All right, last one, I think. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure the game ends in 2020. Uh, we definitely, I'm, I've been doing well with the sales stuff, so I think I might stick to that. We are genuinely just making a small amount of money every single quarter just by selling the rest of the vehicles we have. Let's go ahead and add in the new one. It's the new to you, but not to me. Well, it seems like this is going to be it. I'm not sure if I hit this final one, we may end up crossing over the line past 2020 into 2021, which I believe is the end of the game. Let's just make sure that we're doing things okay though. Somehow, uh, we are still, oh wow, <laughs> we're only in fourth place in terms of vans. Oh, we can do better than that. We've got to get the top spot this one last try. And just to see what our company is doing. Oh, yikes. Okay, so apparently I should have a lot more sales offices than I have. And that's probably why I'm not doing as well. Just looking at these guys, they have about 40 around this time in their like main place. So, yeah, I'm not quite there. I've only got 15 in Europe, 20 in North America. That's about half as much as I really need. All right, let's click it. Let's see what happens. And the game has ended. <laughs> Goodness, well... I think I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, somehow we have created a van apocalypse where pretty much uh, all these vans are selling not great, but somehow we managed to make 1.286 billion dollars selling just vans and a truck. Miraculously, we still have a van from 1981 for sale. Uh, there are currently 2,374 of them left, and if we go over to this, they're literally free. So if you want one, let me know. I like how our van lineup is just pretty normal. It's, it's relatively new, outdated, and then extremely outdated. That's what I like to see. But yeah, like I said, that's it for this video. Let me know what you thought of this game and this style of video. It's just something a little bit different. It's going to take me a while to edit this one, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. Anyways, see you again a little bit later on this week for some more My Summer Car, and then we'll be on to some more stuff next week. As always, I've got some people I want to thank. We've got Canadian Steel, Slow Fried Chicken 69, Overlord, Dr. Ivo, That Rice Out Explorer, Justin, QT Bear, The Most Random Person, and Austin. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it a lot, and it helps me to make uh, different content every once in a while. It's kind of fun, though.